Hello, my friend. It is that time of the year again. It is time for the fab, the fit, and the fun. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about my spring 2021 Fab Fit Fun Box. I get these every single season as part of the Fab Fit Fun Partner Program. This video is sponsored by Fab Fit Fun, but one thing I love about partnering with FabFitFun is that they let me do my review as if it's not sponsored. <laughs> they let me do my review the way I would do it if I purchased it at full price. I can tell you things I like, things I don't like, and it takes a lot for a brand to allow people to be honest about their feelings about their product. And I personally have been partnered with FabFitFun for quite a long time, and I'm very thankful that they let me just be me. So we are gonna dig into this box, and we're gonna talk about the products that I chose because there's lots of choices, which is different than most subscription boxes, that you get to actually choose most of the items in your box. You get to choose, there's beauty stuff, there's fitness stuff, there's lifestyle, um, there's fashion items. I got a fashion item, you have to give me some feedback because I'm not a fashion-y kind of person. All kinds of stuff in these boxes. They do ship to the US, Canada, and the UK. Uh, hopefully they'll be able to ship to other countries sometime soon. The theme this month is grow forth, and this is what they say, quote, while life is flourishing all around, find the inspiration to nurture yourself. Create the space you need to grow. It's your time to blossom. I always love those like inspirational quotes. It's like, yes, it is my time to blossom. Thank you, FabFitFun. Their spring charity partner is One Tree Planted. FabFitFun did switch to these 100% recycled craft boxes this past year, so they're doing that to reduce their carbon footprint. They're also, for this month, every dollar they donate, One Tree is going to be planted in one of three projects in California, National Forest in the United States, and the Pacific Northwest. So I wanted to mention that to you as well because trees are good. So without further ado, let's talk about the choices that you have at different levels. So the first choice is a choice that everybody has. I think it's like the first three choices everybody can pick. And there are a lot of choices this season, my friend. So the first one, there's nine different choices. They don't send me the magazine anymore, which makes me really sad, but I do have a printout of all the pictures of everything. So I kind of looked over that. We have the Alice and Olivia Daisy Print Duffel Bag, Paracone MD Essential, Acyl Glutathione Rejuvenating Moisturizer, Short Stories LED Indoor Planner and Large Leaf Basil Seeds, Monroe Classic Watch in Sunburst Solar Rose, Jenny Kane Water Hyacinth Tray with Cutout Handles, the Tech Candy UV Sanitizing Bed, and the Milk Makeup Watermelon Brightening Face Mask and Mini Watermelon Brightening Face Serum, the Shoshana Umbrella, or the Cow Pack Set of Three Packing Cubes in sorbet. So I chose, being a skincare ingredient geek, had to choose the Paracone MD. Oh my gosh. If I can get Paracone MD for less than full price at 20% off or more than that, like in a FabFitFun box, oh heck yeah, I'm getting Paracone MD. One thing that's cool about Paracone MD is that they have a lot of proprietary ingredients that you can't get in other skincare. It has the S palmitol glutathione. Uh, it's a common ingredient in a lot of Paracone MD stuff. It is patented by Paracone MD. Its job is to help replenish the glutathione that you lose in your skin. And if you've been exposed to a lot of sunlight over your lifetime, me as an 80s and 90s kid not really understanding the importance of sunscreen at a young age. I was in tanning beds when I was a teenager and young adult. I have had way too much sun exposure. So the glutathione will break down more in people that have had a lot of sun exposure. And when you have that broken down, down more, you are more susceptible to sun damage. So this, the idea behind it is it is a smaller molecule that can seep down into the skin. They mix it with some things to kind of increase the penetration ability, and it's supposed to help replenish the glutathione that you've lost. Along with that, we have that water glycerin combo, which is very hydrating. The glycerin, glycerin is going to pull that water into your skin to help your skin be more hydrated. And we have the vitamin C derivative tech to... Then we have the vitamin C derivative tech, 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 damn it. <laughs> then we have the vitamin C derivative texa 
Hetzedekel ascorbate. It's too many syllables. I, I can say it when I'm not trying to say it, but now I'm trying to say it, I'm having trouble saying it. <laughs> it is a more stable form of vitamin C, which is an antioxidant. It also can help your skin boost collagen and it can also be a skin brightener. There's one more ingredient in here that I wanted to highlight for you because it's an ingredient I haven't really seen much. It is in other skincare, but I haven't seen it much. It's called rooibos. And there was a study done in 2009. I gotta read my notes to make sure that I don't mess this up. It was published in the peer-reviewed journal Clinical Cosmetic and Investigational Dermatology, and they tested 20 adult females. They were measured both objectively and subjectively for less wrinkles over time. So they applied it daily for 14 days and then they, they tested it again at 28 days. And they noticed that after 14 days, there was a significant reduction, 12.2% in total wrinkle surface area and a demonstrable 9.1% reduction in total wrinkle length. And then there were even more results after 28 days. So I was really excited to learn about that ingredient through this product and it sounds pretty nice. Also, just to mention, there is lactic acid in here, which is a gentle chemical exfoliator and some really nice moisturizing ingredients, linseed oil, macadamia oil, sunflower seed oil, rosemary extract, chia seed oil, all great ingredients that I love to see in skincare. The only thing that is gonna be a turnoff on this one is the fragrance. You can really smell the fragrance when you use this. It's both unspecified and then the citrus-based fragrances. Uh, the texture of this feels incredible. It feels really nice, but again, and that smell, that citrus smell is prominent. There is a lot of it. So if you do not like that, you are not going to like this, but it does feel really good on the skin. And I love the ingredient deck on it. So I was very excited to get this in my FabFitFun box. Definitely feel like this even makes the price of the box. I wanted to mention my thoughts on a couple of other choices that you have for this, just in case you weren't interested in that. The first one I wanted to mention that I've tried before is the Milk Makeup Watermelon Brightening Face Mask. This would be really good if you have dehydrated skin or if you have oily skin. It also has some anti-aging benefits, so I wanted to mention that. I also wanted to mention the Short Stories LED Indoor Planter. Now, I don't have something from that brand, but I do have another indoor planner, and I was obsessed with my indoor planner when I first got it. If you like cooking, if you like fresh herbs, highly recommend checking this out. Again, I don't have any experience with this particular brand, but indoor planners are so much fun, especially if you have kids and they like watching the process of plants grow. It really is super, super fun. All right, moving on to choice number two, all members. There are seven choices. Again, so many choices for this one. Uh, first one is the Our Place Lunchbox, then the Billion Dollar Brow Six Piece Pro Brush Essentials Kit, the Josie Marin 100% Pure Argan Oil, the Splendid Faux Fur Slippers in Crystal Pink, the, I think it's Gaium. I hope I said it right, Ultimate Core Toning Kit, the Steel Mill & Company To Do Planning Bundle, and the MAC Powder Kiss Lipstick Duo. Okay, I got the Gaium stuff. Now, I have to tell you, I have not used these as intended yet because I had a minor outpatient procedure at my doctor's office and I am not able to do the things you're supposed to do with this stuff right now. But I plan on doing it very, very soon. One thing I thought was really cool is that on the Gaium YouTube channel, they have tutorials and they have workout routines on how to use these for like almost like a Pilates kind of workout, which I thought was cool to have those resources. The only thing I haven't liked so far about this is this little ball is kind of hard to blow up. Like, I don't know like if you have tips and tricks on how to do this, but you put the little straw guy in here and you're like, and you have to like go really fast <laughs> in order to get it blown up. And it still doesn't feel completely blown up. So if you have tips and tricks on how to like do that so that it's a little less squishy, like I haven't figured that out. But I mean, I'm sure it'll still be functional at this like squishiness. I'm sure it'll be fine. I don't know. I just feel like it should be a little more firm. But yeah, this thing is really cool. It's got all these little like stretchy things. Like, so you can like put them on your feet. You can like do little army workouts and all that stuff. So I'm excited to play with this. 
The other product I wanted to mention from this category that I would definitely recommend because I've tried it before is the Josie Marin Argan Oil. It is very, very, very moisturizing. So if you have dry skin and you've never tried Argan Oil, this may be something you wanna try. You can also put it in your hair as a hair mask. I personally love Argan Oil and Josie Marin kind of brought Argan Oil into the mainstream. So theirs is one that I was the first one that I ever tried and I really like that product a lot. Choice number three is also for all members. So they have the Verso Skincare Super Eye Serum, the Alice and Olivia Reversible Bucket Hat, the Joy Drevecki Chloe Ring, Bloomingville Woven Seagrass Coasters, or the Gloss Madern Clean Luxury Hair Mask. And I chose the bucket hat. Okay, so there's a reason why I chose this. I haven't taken the tag off of it yet, but there's a reason why I chose this. Let me see. First of all, is that cute or is that dumb looking? I think it's kind of cute. Maybe not with this outfit, but I think that it's really cute. And then you've got the daisies on the one side and then you can reverse it. Flip it and reverse it. And then you can make it white if you want to. So the reason why I got this is because when it's sunny out, like it's not right now because we have like snow in the ground, it's super overcast. But in the spring, uh, I take my dogs around the neighborhood for a walk a lot and I wear glasses most days when I'm not filming. So I can't wear sunglasses. So I thought this would be really nice to like shield my eyes from the sun when I go for walks. But if it's goofy looking, I'll just wear it around the neighborhood. You'll have to tell me your feedback on whether you think it looks cute or not because I'm not a fashion fashion person. <laughs> you have to let me know. Another option that I wanted to mention that I just glanced at the ingredients was the Verso Skincare Super Eye Serum. It looks like it'd be really good for dehydrated and dry skin. Also some good anti-aging benefits in there. So if that's you and you're in need of an eye cream, that one looks pretty good too. The next choices are ones that you only get to choose if you have an annual membership. So you have to upgrade to that annual membership in order to get a choice. If you have a regular membership, then you FabFitFun will just pick for you one of these items. So here are the things you could get. The Sorbus Makeup Organizer, the Ahava Refreshing Facial Cleansing Gel, the Erno Laszlo Sea Mud Deep Cleansing Bar, Larkin Ives Hair Scarf Bundle, Grown Alchemist Body Cream, and the Elemis Papaya Enzyme Peel. And I I'm very lucky that FabFitFun lets me choose these things because I am very happy with my choice. This is the Ahava Time to Clear Refreshing Cleansing Gel. This is a great cleanser. I'm a huge fan of Ahava as a brand. I really like everything that I've tried by them. Now, one thing I do want to note about this is that sometimes in subscription boxes, the ingredient lists won't match what is on their website. And that's happening with this Ahava product. But there's a big but here. And the big but is that I actually like the ingredient deck on this tube better than the one that's on the Ahava website. So I'm not hating that I got this. I'm assuming it's just a reformulation. Sometimes that happens. And in order to, you know, move past the, the old formulation, they put it in subscription boxes and things like that. So I don't hate it, but I actually really like this ingredient deck. The base of the product is the same. It's just kind of when you get to the middle of the ingredient list and down. It looks like on the tube, a lot of the moisturizing hydrating ingredients are higher up on this tube than they are on the website. Ingredients like elantoin, tocopherol acetate, which is vitamin E, aloe leaf juice, ginger root extract, those are all higher up on this ingredient list than on the website. The cleansing agent in this is called ammonium laurel sulfate. That's the main cleansing agent. It is a gentler form of sodium laurel sulfate. So it does have some punch to it, but I don't feel like my skin feels stripped after using this. I've been using this as a second cleanse after removing my makeup and it works great. Great. Uh, my skin doesn't feel overly tight, but I do feel the need to put on serums and moisturizers afterward. But my skin doesn't feel bad after using it. I don't feel like it's stripping my skin horribly, but I definitely want to use other products after to make sure that my skin is nice and moisturized and hydrated after using it. But overall, I feel like it's a very effective cleanser and I like it a lot. The scent on it, is just a very clean scent, but there is a fragrance to it. So if you don't like fragrance, there is fragrance in here and it is kind of prominent when you're using it. You can you can smell it while you're using it. In case you get the other products or you get a choice, I do wanna mention a couple of the other skincare products that are in here. So the Erno Laszlo Sea Mud Deep Cleansing Bar. If you have oily skin, this may be what the one that you want. Definitely wanna make sure you moisturize after this one. This one looks like it's really going to uh, cleanse. <laughs> really gonna cleanse. The 
The Grown Alchemist Body Cream looks fantastic for dry skin. The Elemis Papaya Enzyme Peel. Okay, this one I'm really thankful that I didn't get because I am very sensitive to fruit enzymes. They make my face light up like a Christmas tree. Like I am just, just turn completely red whenever I use uh, fruit enzymes, but not everybody has that issue. Maybe it's just me. So it should, if you can tolerate it, it should brighten your skin. There's also some hydrating and moisturizing properties to this product, but I'm really glad I didn't get this one because this is a product that I probably wouldn't be able to use. One more choice item for annual members. Number five, the Pure Cosmetics Iconic Glow Illuminating Face and Body Dry Oil, the Camp Collection Dip Dye Market Tote, the Cocoa Floss Tropical Trio, Summer and Rose Tweezer with Pouch, and the H. Halston Aloe Infused Gel Line Socks and Pumice Stone. I am so glad I did not get those socks because I am somebody, I do not like things on my feet. I don't like regular socks, let alone aloe line socks. Like that just sounds like a nightmare to me. The way that that would feel just, uh, no thank you. I know some people would absolutely love it, not me. It's just not, it's just not a thing for me. Mm -mm, no thank you. So what I chose was the Tropical Trio of Flossers. I love flossing. I, mean, I don't love flossing. Nobody loves flossing, but I like flossing. I like the, the making sure everything, all the gunk's out of my teeth. I've not always been like this, but I do enjoy flossing. Now I was a kid that never liked mint toothpaste. I always got, see if you remember this, there was a Muppet bubble gum toothpaste that my mom used to get for me and I freaking loved that toothpaste. So any kind of like berry flavored flossing thing, I'm like, yes, please. It comes in this little uh, dispenser here and then you get these little refills. So there's two refills in here and then there's this one. There's three different flavors. They smell amazing. They really do. They, they smell exactly the way that you would expect. And they have that flavor in your mouth as you use them. It's not a real, real strong flavor, but you can definitely taste it as you use it. My issue with these is that I had braces and because I had braces, my teeth are pretty smashed together. So this actually is too thick for my teeth. My teeth can't handle it. It actually made my teeth ache to use, trying to get the floss in between my teeth. I used it three times and it did get better. The aching did get better the more I used it. But um, but yeah, I'm gonna stick with my little um, glide ones because this is, it's it doesn't, it's not good for, for my teeth being how tight they are together. It doesn't feel good. I don't like it. I, I, I like the flavor, but they're just too thick for my teeth, unfortunately. So when we get to the next three choices, they are all ones that FabFitFun picks for everybody. And they're kind of usually, usually, not always, but usually the lower priced items in the boxes. So we have for choice number six, the Each Jewels Flower Hair Clip 2-Pack, Human Plus Kind Hand Scrub, or the Earth Harbor Marina Biome Brightening Ampoule. And I got the hand scrub and this is a really nice product it's really nice i used to use one of these from julep that i absolutely loved and then julep kind of fizzled out so i didn't have a hand scrub for a long time and i really like this one so it does have that water glycerin combo to help keep your hands hydrated as you're using the product there are a lot of moisturizing and emollient ingredients in here to help your hands feel soft and smooth and moisturized and then there's an ingredient in here called gluconolactone and that is a pa if you watch James Welsh or any of the other skincare influencers, you've probably heard of PHAs before. It's kind of the cousin of AHAs. It's a more gentle chemical exfoliator, but very similar in effects to what you're gonna get with an AHA, but gentler. PHAs are also really good at moisturizing the skin and they also might have anti-aging benefits over time, which is great. And then finally, they can help repair the skin's barrier, which is what we all need right now. There are some physical exfoliators in here. They use dried raspberry seeds and hydrated silica in order to give you that scrubby. Actually, let me squeeze a little bit out so you can see what it looks like. It's kind of pretty actually. It's like got this, um, hopefully you can see there's one of the seeds in there. There's a raspberry seed and then there's a little bit of grit here. I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's a little bit of fine grit and then they have this little, the little seeds in there. For those of you sensitive to fragrance, there is parfum in here as well. It's an unspecified fragrance. But overall, other than the parfum that's in here, it is a wonderful product. It's a lovely product to use. My hands feel really nice after I use it. I just kind of have to remember to use it. But if you're one of those people that gets really dry hands, then this might be a product you wanna check out, even if you don't get FabFitFun. It's a really nice hand scrub. And it just I just love the way my hands feel after I use it. I 
have to tell you though, I would not have hated getting that ampoule. The Earth Harbor Marina Biome Brightening Ampoule. That looks really nice. Like I'm very happy with that, but I would not have been mad about this. There's so many antioxidants and moisturizers in it. There's a uh, green tea seed oil, olive fruit squalane, rosehip seed oil, jojoba oil, a bunch of other ingredients. I would not have hated that. So if you get that, I'm a little jealous, but at the same time, I like my hands scrub. Two more choices. The seventh pick is either the SF Glow Suns Out Pouts Out Lip Mask, the Pink Sky Cactus, Cactus Sipper Cup, or the Cali Cosmetics Body Wash. I couldn't find the ingredients on either of those products, but you can see I didn't get either one of those. I got the Cactus Cup. <laughs> It's honestly super goofy looking, like I have to say. It's real goofy, but it doesn't feel super cheap. Like, I mean, it's definitely plastic, but it doesn't feel overly cheap. It does have a screw off top here, so it does stay closed. Like some of these are like real cheap. They have like the pop on tops. I don't like those, but this one, it screws on pretty nicely. I mean, it's a plastic cup. I personally wouldn't put anything in here that I thought would gunk up the inside because I would imagine cleaning up in here is gonna be relatively difficult. I did read that it is dishwasher safe though, so that's a good thing, but I don't know how clean I can get up in here. I mean, I'm gonna have to get some kind of bottle brush or something up in there to clean it. That's gonna be kind of a pain in the butt, but it is cute. One thing also I do wanna mention, it is, it is a little bit difficult to get the, um, the top to line up in order to screw it down, but it just takes a little, you know, it's just not instant. Sometimes I have to kind of wiggle it a little bit to get the top on, but it's cute. I'm happy to have it. Now this last one, I'm sorry I failed you. I didn't try this last one. I got the SAIE Reusable Beauty Rounds. Uh, there's also the option of the Nails Ink Nail Polish in Mayfair Lane. I got the Beauty Rounds, I didn't use them. I was not feeling real great after the procedure that I talked about a little bit earlier that I won't go into the gory details of, but I just haven't been feeling like wearing makeup since I got my FabFitFun box. And the one time that I did wear makeup, I forgot to use them. These are though, very soft. Um, they're fuzzy, which is kind of weird for like a makeup removal kind of product, but I haven't used them yet. I'm really sorry. If you've ever used a product like this where it's fuzzy to remove your makeup, I would love to know your thoughts down in the comments down below. Actually, probably before this video goes live, even tonight, I'll probably have a chance to use these and I can put some information in the description box about what it was like to use these, but I'm sorry I failed you and didn't use these before the video. Hello, editing Jen here. Okay, I tried them and I love them. <laughs> so I was completely wrong in this section. They're actually pretty great. So I decided instead of just putting something in the video description that I would show you in real life what happened. So this is my bathroom. Welcome. This is actually the second time that I used it. You might notice that the back side is dirty because that's from the night before. And then I just flipped it over and used the other side. That was more out of convenience than anything. Typically I'd probably just use it one time, but you can use it both sides for two times. Now, as you can see, I'm rubbing my eyes pretty good. So if you do not like rubbing your eyes or if you think that that's gonna cause, you know, more aging or whatever, you probably don't wanna use these and use, you know, maybe an oil-based makeup remover. But if you're not necessarily as worried about that, if you're currently using makeup wipes or a makeup eraser, these do work and they work very well. I am very thankful to have these and I thought it was important that I put this in the video so you could see how it worked, so pretty awesome. All right, let's go ahead and get out of the bathroom and get back into the makeup room. All right, it is moment of truth time. Let's talk about what I thought of this box overall. So least favorite, least excited product is the rounds that we just talked about. Next would be the Tropical Trio for the flossers. And I'm just disappointed that they didn't work for my teeth. I probably should have known better, but I was just too excited about the flavors. So that happened there. Next is the water bottle. I'm sure it's gonna get used, but is it that exciting? Not really. I do like the hat. I, I just don't know if it's cute. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me whether it's cute because if you think it's cute, then it's definitely adding to the value of the bag If you think it's dumb looking then it's definitely not adding to the value of the bag. I have no opinion That's why it's here. I am quite excited about the Pilates like exercisey stuff because I don't have anything like this and I need some motivation to exercise Honestly, like I am just not I have not been exercising and I need to do something because this is not good Sitting around my house all day editing and watching stupid videos and it's just not, it's not good for me. So I need to do exercising. So hopefully this will motivate me. And then all of the skincare, all of the skincare is fabulous. The hand scrubby stuff, 
so excited about that. Really love the cleanser. And of course, the Paracone MD is definitely my most excited thing. I honestly think just this one product makes the value of the whole thing for me. I would say, you know, if I just got the Paracone MD, the cleanser, the hand stuff, and the workout stuff, like I would buy that for the cost of the box. Like the other things I could probably do without, to be honest. But I, I think this is gonna help me though. But is this stupid? I feel like it might look stupid. Does it look stupid? <laughs> At this point, my friend, it is your turn in the collective brain of Makeup Awesomeness where we help each other not to buy crap and to buy things that are totally worth it. I would love to know what you think of my FabFitFun box. If you get FabFitFun, I would love to know what you thought of your box, what choices you're excited about, maybe things you're not excited about. Just sound off in the comments down below. I cannot wait to read your thoughts. And if you're not already subscribed, there is a subscribe button down below to subscribe to my channel so that it, my videos will show up in your subscription feed. But if you wanna be notified when I make a new video, you have to hit that notification bell and set it to all so that YouTube tells you when I make a new video because it doesn't always show up on the home screen. It just kind of depends on what you've been watching lately. But if you wanna watch another video right now because I make such good videos and you're just not ready to go, YouTube should be recommending some of them over here for you. But if you do have to go, I completely get that. You got stuff to do, no problem at all. Thank you so much for hanging out as long as you did. Mad love to you, and I'll see you in a video very, very soon. Thank you to FabFitFun for sponsoring the video. Bye!